Hello Corkies, welcome back. Today I'm coming at you with a Japanese whiskey review. It's from the House of Suntory and they're about a little less than a hundred years old and Japanese whiskey is relatively new and they're really coming out strong in the market and impressing a lot of people. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Cork and Java, your go-to place for wine and coffee, reviews, and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages. So if you're new here and that sounds interesting, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the little bell so you're notified when future videos come out. All right guys, so today we're going to Japan um, with this particular uh, Suntory whiskey. Toki, it's made from a blend from three different distilleries out in Japan. And it comes in at about 30 to $40 price range. Um, there's some single malts and some uh, ones that are aged a little bit longer than this that go up a little bit higher. But this is a pretty good starter one for um, getting into some Japanese whiskey. They have uh, already gained the reputation for having a very strong attention to detail and um, they're really becoming really popular. So if you haven't tried a Japanese whiskey, and if this one's good, I'll let you know. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can uh, pick it up for a good price. So anyway, let's take a look at the color. It's a uh, fairly light, um, probably was aged in either not as charred barrels or just not nearly as long as some other darker whiskeys would be some like maybe American bourbons or that's in a brand new barrel and stuff like that. I don't know if there's any Japanese laws or anything that um, go into taking place on how uh, they make their whiskeys like we have here in America and Scotland and different places. But um, I don't know. So we'll just see how it tastes. Ooh. On the nose, I'm getting a lot of sweetness, a lot of uh, kind of grainy, grassy hay notes along with a little bit of honey. It's a little bit hot on the nose. It's coming in at 43% alcohol by volume. So just a little bit higher than your standard uh, 80 proof. So uh, let's give it a taste there. very silky smooth and it's got a lot of um, nice tannin structure. This reminds me very much of um, what is it? Irish whiskey. It's very similar to like a Jameson um, and other Irish whiskey similar to that. It's just got a lot of brightness, a lot of uh, sweetness and um, it's got a little bit of spice there lingering at the end, which is nice. A little bit of spicy and sweet finish. But yeah, I'm really surprised on how similar this tastes to a Irish whiskey. So an interesting thing about uh, Japanese whiskey is they have kind of a signature cocktail and it's super easy uh, that they like with their whiskeys. And it's really just a highball. They they take a generous pour of their whiskey over ice and just top it off with uh, some club soda. And you got your Toki highball. So yeah, rating this one, I'd give it a solid, uh, for the price point in the $30, $40 range, a solid 90. I'd put it up there with some Irish whiskeys that are even higher uh, in price than this got a little bit of different characteristics than like your standard bourbons and, and American whiskeys that you get in the States. So yeah, I'm excited to try some uh, maybe different Japanese whiskeys and see how they compare to this one because this is really my only starting point and this is the only data point that I'm going off of. But so far I'm pretty impressed and the hype online seems to really have played out pretty nicely. Okay guys, I gotta tell you about the California Wine Club. I'll leave a link down in the description with uh, some discounts so you can get a good deal on it. If you are really trying to get into wine and you're kind of overwhelmed and uh, new to learning everything, 
The best way to go about it is to join a wine club and to get wines sent to you that are carefully selected by professionals that are unique and you can have uh, your input, I think, into which ones that you're gonna get if you wanna do whites, reds. You know you're gonna get quality stuff and you can just kind of research from what you get and kind of learn from there. And I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in signing up at a discount with our affiliate links. There's a bunch of different tiers you can choose from. If you wanna get some really fancy stuff, you can do that. And if you wanna do one that's like $20 a month, you're still getting some good quality stuff and you get direct uh, texting to uh, professional sommeliers to answer any of your questions. So that's a huge bonus right there. Also, leave a comment down in the description if you've ever had a Japanese whiskey. Which ones have you tried? Did you like it? I'd like to know. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And until next time, bottoms up.